This is a cottonwood tree. It started as a seed that blew away from the mother tree, found this nice snuggly spot to start making new leaves, and it has been living through decades of cold winters and hot summers. But these days, many areas need help getting trees back onto the landscape. That's where tree planting comes to the rescue. Hi, I'm Ellie, and I'm ready to work with tree planting nonprofits to develop relatable curriculum and lesson plans for effective educational stewardship outreach. My roots run deep in tree knowledge. I got my Master of Forestry in 2022 in the social science field. My bachelor's is also in forestry. I have training and firsthand experience in reforestation and habitat restoration. I also planted trees when I worked with Trees for People. I have lots of science communication and education background. Most recently, last year, I worked for the National Park Service creating environmental education programs based on input from members of Associated Native Nations, school teachers, the missions of the two World Heritage Parks, and the state curriculum. Shall we work together for the betterment of the land and all the people dependent on the healthy earth? Reach out and let's begin this new adventure. Tree fact for the day, why do trees lose their leaves in the fall? There's lots of talk about chlorophyll breaking down, which is part of the process, but why would trees want to get rid of their leaves? One word, water. Water in the winter turns to ice, ice expands, and those shards will be able to break the cells. And if that happens, then the water column is no longer connected, so water can't get up and the nutrients can't get down. So that means the tree wouldn't make it. The trees are dropping their leaves to, as a method of getting rid of as much water as they can to prepare for the winter cold. You didn't think I was going to forget to tell you a fun tree fat, did you? <laughs> ciao, ciao, ciao.